Hey everyone, welcome back to Alchemy with Zero Phase. This is Eric, and I am excited to bring this to you. Uh, this is something I've been watching for just a little bit. Um, uh, there is a new Laura going around, uh, been out for a little bit, but it's been gaining traction uh, in its ability to help actually put words into your images. Uh, so let's jump over to this real quick here on Civet AI. The extension is called Har, uh, Har Logos, Har Logos, <laughs> and uh, so it's a it's a Laura that's been specially trained to really help get letters and bring decent lettering and still give them styles into your images. Okay, so this is a Laura. Uh, it's a small download, um, 217, 220 megs approximately. Um, there's a uh, trigger word here, and uh, I'll show you how to use that here in just a minute. So you download that, put that into your Laura folder, which uh, if you're not familiar with that, I'll show you real quick. It's uh, going to be under your Stable Diffusion Web UI, Models, and then Laura folder. Okay, you just drop it in there. Now, I'm using, um, uh, sorry, Stability Matrix, and if you go down to your, uh, mo if you're using this as well, go down to Model Browser. And just start typing in H A R R, and if you have it select on Laura, it should be one of the first ones to come up. It's a very popular Laura right now, and you can just import that. It imports it. Uh, restart your uh, packages, stop and start, and refresh your interface, and it will come up and um, uh, show up in your Lauras here. So you may need to hit your refresh button over here, but it'll show up. So. Uh, I want to dive into this and show you how to get the best results out of this. I've been playing with this and I think I've got a pretty decent uh, system down that uh, will uh, help you gain these effects. I've been doing this for a lot of stuff now and uh, um, but yeah, let's just dive right into it. So let me, let me just grab uh, the prompt from this and I'm just going to show you real quick what I'm doing here. Okay, we're going to paste that into there. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's the negative prompt. For some reason, my control C is not pulling that when I highlight it. It's really interesting. So we're going to right click copy, paste that over in there. Okay, so what I'm doing, the way this works is it, the trigger words are text logo. Okay, and so what I figured out is by putting it at the beginning, and that's what they recommend here as well. If you come down, you can kind of read through what they're suggesting, okay? And get kind of get a feel for what, what's going on. But I've actually, just, you know, they said you can emphasize. So I've actually put it in quotes, text logo, and I'm emphasizing it at 1.5, okay? And then I fill in what it is I wanna see out to about here, and then uh, vivid digital illustration of, and you can put other stuff in there too. I'm just gonna leave it at this though. But then what I do is I re-emphasize uh, the fact that we're using text. So I'm doing title text of, and then the, the word or words that I want to put in, okay? And then at the end, you put the Laura, okay? The, uh, in in uh, open and close caret symbols, Laura, Har Logos, underscore V 2.0. Anyway, you, go, you come over here, click that, it'll put it in automatically for you, okay? The negative prompt, the only thing I'm using for a negative prompt is bad lettering, and then in emphasis, double letters. Now this you may need to pull out uh, depending on the word you're using. If your word actually has double letters, like the name William has two L's, the AI is gonna have problems with that. So you may have to take this out in certain situations, okay? Overlapping letters. In fact, I'm gonna take this out right now because we're gonna try a couple things and see if we can get it to do something cool. We're gonna switch this over to 16 by nine because what I wanna put in here, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna see if we can get this to do a stable diffusion. And again, we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna do stable diffusion. We're not doing a, any specific negative prompt. I'm gonna increase the steps to 30. I've been able to get good success with the DPM++2 M S D E Karas, but I seem to get better results with Euler A on this. I have tried others. It does work like on UniPC and stuff like that. But again, I think the best results I get is from Euler A. Uh, let's see. So I am going to increase this to either 7.5 or 8. I found some really good results with 8. We're going to increase the batch count to 10. 
because this is still a little bit like rolling dice. You're going to get some weird random results, and a lot of it depends on what you're putting in, that kind of thing. So uh, we are going to do an epic movie poster design, lettering, movie poster layout, uh, just to kind of give this an epic feel. You know, it's going to look cinematic, laid out kind of like a movie poster. And uh, that's it. That's all we're going to do. Okay. I'm using the Sahastrakotai XL model, uh, Checkpoint. Awesome model. Uh, uh, it seems to be a good all-around model. Works on a lot of different levels. Okay. All right, let's hit uh, generate on this, and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, so it's done, and let's just kind of go through these. Now, it, I don't think any of them got the wording exactly right. Now, some of them did get stable right, and we got real close with this one. You could probably do an in-paint on that one, re-render it. Uh, stable diffusion. Um, again, missing the double F. Uh, everything else looks great. <laughs> it's just a cool picture. Uh, stable diffusion, uh, stable diffusion. <laughs> but you're getting the point here. Um, diffusion is a bit of a long word. I got that one uh, almost right. Stable diffusion. Uh, very close on that one. You could re-render that one. Uh, great cinematic layout there. That's pretty cool. So here's the thing. Um, with some words, you are going to have some difficulty. Um, nobody said this was perfect. Uh, even in this here, he says you're going to have to try some different things to get uh, perfect results. Well, I mean, at least close. So there's some things we can try on this. You know, we could try, in, I, in some of my other prompts, I actually increased this to five on that one. Um, but we could try different words, too. I find that short words work really well. Um, popular phrases and words work really well. In fact, let me show you one. We're going to do Merry Christmas. Okay. Put that over here. And um, we're going to leave everything else the same. Let's render that out. I'll come back. All right, awesome. So let's pull this up. And yeah, see, it's doing better on the lettering. Merry Christmas. Definitely better on that one. That one looks kind of cool. M's a little odd. Some weird wet lettering there. That one's not bad. Again, this is we're missing an I, but uh, when you have uh, popular words, it tends to do better. I'm not saying it won't do other words. I've done a whole ton of other words. That's a great one right there. Okay, so um, we can do we can actually change the format too. This is good for you know uh, you know landscape stuff. We can change this up and do something different. Uh, this works great using uh, characters in there. You know you could put uh, uh, I don't know. Let's uh, do let's do assassin. And then we're going to change this. I don't know. You know, it's, it, what I like about this prompt, just the way it is, is it takes the word you give it in the context of the whole thing. It'll change the whole image style. It's really cool. So watch this. Obviously, the lettering on that one isn't right. Hold on. Okay. As you can see, we got some pretty cool results here. That one turned out great. That one not too bad. And the rest of these I think ended up being a little weird with multiple S's, which is weird. That one's not too bad. You got a little weirdness there. You could totally render or, you know, in paint out. Um, and then that one right there, which I thought was actually the best one. Very cool, very cinematic. So as you can see, this is this is awesome. I've been playing around with this uh, for the last few days actually uh, just trying to figure out what's going to be the best settings and I feel like this prompt works really well because you're you're telling you what you want here you know with the keywording you're also emphasizing that it's going to be lettering kind of telling you what you want and the style and the layout and everything and then re-emphasizing this using this here um, and I might actually be able to re-emphasize it better if I just put text logo of I did title text because I was kind of working with, um, you know, the movie title thing. Let's try this. Let's try text logo. And we're going to get rid of the of because this is a keyword and it takes whatever's after it 
as the word. So I don't want of in there or as. So let's uh, let's try something else. Let's do um, evil. Now let's see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, evil teddy bear. Throw that in here. Let's just see what that does. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at no. I'm gonna change it to four by five. I want to give it a little more width to work with here. Okay, so we definitely got some interesting results with this. And now one thing I noticed, and I totally forgot, was to take out the double lettering option because there is two T D's in Teddy Bear or Teddy. Uh, but it, it, you get the idea on this. I mean, this is gonna give you some pretty crazy. Um, things to work with <laughs> like that one <laughs> kind of right except for the double d uh but evil teddy bear you know that could actually be like a legit title minus the d like that's actually his name kind of thing uh, i'm just having fun with this so <laughs> anyway like i said i'm i'm having fun with it. i hope you guys have fun with it i hope you enjoyed this video uh like and subscribe uh this is gonna be this is incredibly fun. I've been doing stuff for my family, like doing their names on stuff. And uh, like for the for the nieces and nephews, they love it. It's been so fun. Uh, let me show you one last thing. I kind of mixed this with another prompt I have, my t-shirt design um, prompt. And uh, let's, I, I want to just run that through here. We're going to do evil, just evil bear. And, uh, and run that. Sorry, I know we're kind of going a little over time here and and uh but i'm having fun i want you guys to have fun and kind of see what the possibilities are on this yeah it's definitely cool okay here's the results so we're gonna throw this up here uh let's see where are we there we go <clears throat> ah that one obviously didn't work out uh that one was better I'm not sure why it's doing all the little mini bears. That seems to be a common theme in these images, but uh, that one wasn't too bad. Evil, evil bear. Evil bear gets a little better. <laughs> evil bear, like that first one, but with all the, you know, with all the bears and it's spelled right. And vile bear, evil bear, evil bear. There we go. That one's awesome. That looks great. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I you know this has been such a fantastic thing to be able to get letters and words into your stable diffusion images i mean you could kind of do it before using like uh control net and canny and all those but it always felt like it was a little hit and miss sdxl changed that a little bit um with their first release but having this laura is definitely a game changer ha having a ton of fun with it. i hope you guys do too again like and subscribe and uh we're going to be rolling these videos out i got a couple more things i want to do some videos on here soon so talk to you later